Hello everybody. Today we are going to continue talking about subtraction. Now do not forget subtraction means to take away and when we subtract we use the minus sign when writing our number sentences. So we have already talked about using counters or other objects to solve your subtraction problems. Today we are going to learn another subtraction strategy. Now this strategy is called draw and cross out. We've used a drawing strategy before with addition, but we did not cross it out because we are not taking things away. Let me show you an example. Let's say I started with one, two, three, four, five circles. Then I crossed out or took away two. How many do I have left? Let's count and see. One, two, three. If I wanted to write a number sentence for this, I would always put the number of circles that I start with in the first space. How many circles did I start with? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. I started with five circles. Now, let's see how many circles I took away. Because remember, the minus sign means to take away. And when I cross something out, that means I've taken it away. How many circles did I take away or cross out? Let's see. One, two. I took away two circles. Now let's see how many circles I have left over. That will be my answer. And that's how many circles that I did not cross out. Let's count. Ready? One, two, three. I have three circles left over. Five minus two equals three. Good job. Let's try another one. Remember, this is our draw and cross out strategy. All right. Now let's try it a different way. Say I already have my problem. Here is my subtraction problem that I see. 7 minus 4 equals blank. I need to find out the answer. So I'm going to draw a picture to solve this subtraction problem. Now when I draw my picture, I could draw something like hearts or boxes or stars, but I choose to draw circles because it's fastest. One, two, now I'm drawing the first number that I start with which is seven, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's double check, see if I have seven circles. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. I have the number of circles that I start with. Now that minus means take away. So how many circles will I be taking away or crossing out? Four, good. Let's cross out four circles, ready? One, two, three, four. I took away four circles. Now, to find my answer, I need to count and see how many circles are left over or not crossed out. Let's count and find out. One, two, three. Three circles left over. Seven minus four equals three. Good job. That's how we use the cross out strategy. So now I'm going to give you a problem to practice drawing and crossing out. Let's see if you can do it. Remember, when you draw your picture, you don't have to draw anything that's complicated. Circles are really easy and I highly suggest drawing those. Here's your problem. 10 minus, which means take away, Two equals blank. K 
can you solve our problem? Remember, we start with 2. I mean, sorry, excuse me, we start with 10. Take away 2. What is our answer? How many do we have left over or that are not crossed out? Solve it at home. Thank you for tuning in. Bye-bye.